Hi everyone, my name is Mercy. Welcome to my channel. I'm super excited for you to be here and in this video I'm going to continue on my Year World Concept series specifically talking about acute abdominal pain in females. So if you're interested in the main details that you need to know to get answers right, keep watching. you should immediately think of when a female in the reproductive age comes in and tells you that they are hurting and they're hurting acutely so it's not a chronic pain that they've had um, in the abdominal and the pelvic region but actually just a sudden onset so for example within a day they have recently had this pain and it's actually excruciating pain let's list the five things uh, now and then I'll go into details with each one the first one middle schmertz I think I'm saying that right. Roll schmertz, it sounds funny. Um, and then you have ectopic pregnancy, ovarian torsion, rupture, ovarian cyst, and a pelvic inflammatory disease. These are five things that you want to think of in a female acute abdominal pelvic pain. With middle schmertz, this is going to be uh, someone that comes in with pain that happens every cycle. This is going to be every month pain and it's usually right before ovulation. So once a month they get this pain, that's a huge hint right there. Once a month and it's a female that has this pain, it's ovulation right before, it's actually like 36 hours before ovulation that they feel this pain. Depending on how bad it is, you can give them um, pain meds. Ectopic pregnancy and this is going to be super easy because they'll tell you one of two things they have to tell you. Whether they had their period recently, so, okay, first of all, exopic pregnancy is obviously a pregnancy that's not within the uterus. So it's uh, extra uterine pregnancy, uh, commonly in the fallopian tube. The patient is going to come in with pain and it's going to be unilateral. And right away, you want to get a beta HCG level on this reproductive aged woman. It will say whether there's high beta HCG or low. If they tell you there's no beta HCG, you right away are going to eliminate the chances of pregnancy because if you don't have beta HCG in the urine or, or the serum, you are not pregnant. And the vignettes, they're not pregnant. So no beta HCG, they're not pregnant. If they don't give that to you, your next move might be to get a pregnancy test. It's usually that's the answer because that's one thing you always want to eliminate whether they're pregnant or not and that's why they have pain and you want to eliminate a pregnancy. If they don't tell you the beta HCG level but they tell you when their last menstrual period was, if it was three weeks ago, you are not going to think pregnancy they're just not pregnant if it's three weeks ago okay but if they have been for two months now now you want to be thinking about pregnancy we talked about middle schmerz we talked about ectopic pregnancy next is going to be our ovarian torsion so basically this is someone that has a mass or a cyst within the ovaries and it's heavy and that heaviness is going to cause a twist so that twisting of the ovarian causes an ovarian torsion and they are going to appear with sudden onset like an hour ago they were fine but now they have this acute pain in the vignette they'll always say that there was a mass or a cyst usually with someone that has a small cyst we really uh, basically observe them because if it's not big enough we don't really do anything about it we just watch them this is a patient that you already had and you knew that they had a mass before or a cyst before and now it has tours so ovarian torsion now with ovarian rupture i'll tell you in the vignette they had a cyst like six, six months ago or they'll describe what a cyst is going to look like in the ultrasound it's going to indicate that there's some fluid peri um, what is it? Peritoneal fluid has been seen on imaging. So that is a giveaway that it has ruptured. Now you can still have a cyst that may have partially ruptured, have a cyst that completely ruptured, and you just have fluid uh, in the peritoneum. So that is indicative of a ruptured ovarian cyst. Both the torsion and the uh, ruptured ovarian cyst will indicate that this is a patient that was strenuously exercising or uh, after sexual activity, they um, had the sudden onset of pain those are the clues the last one is PID they will have fever so if they have sudden onset and they have fever cervical um, motion tenderness and they'll have um, vaginal discharge PID those are the five things that you want to think of when you hear that a patient uh, female specifically comes in with acute pelvic or abdominal pain I believe I talked about this in my in another video because this sounds very familiar 
like I've spoken out loud to you guys about it. Oh yeah, so it was in my ob guide section um, with like the high yields and just the rotation itself. So I did talk about it there. So I hope you guys like that. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. Do you follow me on my Instagram, Mercy Medical. I do also have Snapchat and Twitter. And I'll see you guys in the next one.